Good morning, one and all. Myself, Lama Sarkot, or depart uh, from Department of Biotechnology. I'll be dealing with the topic that is classification of nutraceuticals. Now, the previous lecture, I've already started with what are nutraceuticals, what are the different types of nutraceuticals, or what are the different examples of nutraceuticals, that is the dietary fiber, prebiotics, probiotics, polyunsaturated fatty acids, antioxidants, and polyphenols. Now, in previous lecture, we have already dealt with the polyunsaturated fatty acid. In this lecture, we are going to deal with antioxidants and the polyphenols. Now, what are antioxidants? Antioxidants are substances which help in inhibiting or delaying the oxidation of other bioactive substances. What are the bioactive substances? So, basically, we can talk about free radicals. What are free radicals? They are unpaired valence electrons or free electrons or atoms which are highly reactive. Now, since they are highly reactive, they keep on looking for um, other cells or other atoms for reaction or for uh, their reacting purpose. And when they don't find it, they try to react with the cells, hence leading to the damaging of the cells. So, antioxidants, what are their role is, they can donate an electron to these rampaging free radicals and they will neutralize or reduce its capacity to damage. So, antioxidants are consumed for, for the treatment or you can say antioxidants are consumed so that the free radicals do not destroy your cells. Now, chemical reactions cause oxidation which may sometimes generate a reactive substance which is free radical leading to oxidative stress or cell damage. You can see over here in the diagram a healthy atom. It is, you can see the first one that is healthy atom. The second one is a free radical. You can see there is a missing atom or a missing electron over here. So, it will try to take an electron from an healthy atom making it, ox uh, creating an oxidative stress or creating a cell damage. So, what do antioxidants do? The star over here is the antioxidant. It will donate one electron to the free radical which will calm down the free radical hence it will not uh, go on its rampaging activity. Now what are antioxidants or where do antioxidants are found? They are found in food or they exist in food in the form of minerals, vitamins as well as carotenoids. Unique color is a main identification mark of antioxidants. For example, I have kept all multiple pictures over here. You can see these are tomatoes. Bright red in color or uh, carrots which are bright orange in color, grapes, bright purple, blueberry, very dark blue or corn is yellow in color, the cherry is red in color. These are all bright colors or the, and this is the unique mark of identification for antioxidants. Cherries, tomatoes, they are usually identified by the deep red color. Carrot is uh, identified by its deep orange color, mango, saffron, corn by their yellow color and grapes and blueberries by their purple color. This is the mark of the presence of antioxidants in these particular food items. Vitamin A, C, E, beta carotenoid, lycopene and mineral selenium are mostly known for their antioxidant properties in the food. Lycopene is a carotenoid pigment which is responsible for the red orange color of the food and it is found most abundant in tomato, watermelon, red grapefruit, papaya as well as dried apricot. Also, concentrated tomato products, for example, the tomato paste, ketchup, sauces are also suggested as a good source of lycopene for consumption. For example, where, so if you talk about children or people who are very picky eaters, they would not go ahead and consume raw food or raw fruits or they would not like consuming these foods. In that case, it could be used in the concentrated puree form that is paste or ketchup or sauce which people would uh, consume uh, very happily. So through that you can actually consume antioxidants as a form of nutraceutical therapy. Furthermore, cooked tomato products contain more lycopene content than that of a raw tomato product. So ketchup, paste and sauces will definitely contain Consider a considerably high lycopene content will be present uh, compared to the raw tomato products. Now, what are the different types of antioxidants? There are nutrient derived antioxidants, there are antioxidant enzymes, there are metal binding prote proteins, as well as numerous other antioxidant phytonutrients. 
there are certain more examples of antioxidants that are consumed on daily basis for example endogenous as well as dietary antioxidants the example of endogenous uh, antioxidants is a glutathione okay glutathione is an example of an endogenous antioxidant or you can say coenzymes which play a major role in multiple pathways metabolic pathways or ferritin these are some of the examples of the endogenous antioxidants and in case of dietary uh, antioxidant a very huge or a major example we can talk about is the ascorbic acid that is our vitamin c and if we talk about examples there are so many examples of food containing ascorbic acid for example orange or uh, purple cabbage or we can also talk about one more food item that contains and uh, vitamin c in abundant amount are bell peppers that was about antioxidants now we are talking about polyphenols the last uh, nutraceutical in this classification period so polyphenols are natural phytochemical compounds in plant based foods such as fruits vegetables whole grains cereals legumes tea coffee wine as well as cocoa more than 8000 polyphenolic compounds including phenolic acids flavonoids lignans and polymeric lignans have been identified in the whole plant foods and they are secondary metabolites of the plant which acts as a defense against the uv radiation oxidants and pathogens so polyphenols are majorly secondary metabolites what are secondary metabolites they are plant metabolites or plant products which are not directly involved in the growth of plant or you can say they are not directly involved in the reproduction of the plant however they are very important components which protect the plant from or have a defense mechanism or protect the plant from ultraviolet radiation oxidants or pathogens for example nicotine is also one of the example of secondary metabolite now there are six sub uh, subclasses of flavonoids which includes anthocyanin flavonols flavonols flavonines flavones as well as isoflavones anthocyanins are found in berry families for example uh, strawberries grapes they are red in color they are re then red cabbage cherry black grape as well as uh, strawberries these are the examples over here you can see these are the examples of your berry family which contains polyphenols now spices again is one of the example of nutraceuticals now when we talk about spices a very important spice that comes to my mind is turmeric okay now turmeric has been used as a nutraceutical or as a therapy since ages for example let's say uh, people if they are having cold or they are suffering from cold what do they consume they consume turmeric powder with milk or if a particular person has a cut or a wound what the person does is he he or she can apply turmeric on their wound so that is one of the example of a spice which is a natural component or a natural compound which is used as a therapy or which is used for therapy hence spices are also one of the example of nutraceuticals they have been virtually indispensable in the culinary art of flavoring food since very long period of time and apart from flavoring or seasoning they are widely used in the indigenous medicines for example neem again or uh, sorry for example turmeric again it has been used for uh, flavoring it has been used in medicine then cloves it is used for flavoring it is used in medicine even black pepper is used for medicine for cold uh, or cough then uh, it is used in pharmaceuticals nutraceuticals aromatherapy preservatives beverages natural colors as well as it is used in perfumes dental preparations cosmetic botanicals for pesticides and as well as they play a significant role in the economy of producing the country india is one of the major spice producer and it is uh, the spices have a very significant role in the economy of the country these properties are due to the diverse array of chemical synthesis of the spices what are those diverse arrays they can be used in multiple fields they can be used in food cosmetics they can be used in dental preparations right the examples that we saw in the previous slide so growing demand from the emerging segments of nutraceuticals is driving the global consumption of indian spices further to meet the needs of traditional food sector now if we talk about an example of a nutraceutical a very well known example of a nutraceutical is chavanprash 
it is one of the highest marketing nutraceutical products in the india it contains five ingredients like there's cinnamon there's clove there's curcuma species that is turmeric there's saffron as well as long peppers and all of these are good source of vitamin c they are rich in antioxidants it will help in increasing the immunity it helps in increasing the digestion it prevents cough asthma fever heart disease as well as coarseness in the speech we have we are all aware about chavan prash and its use in the indian diet or for in india as a nutraceutical we consume that early in the morning with a glass of milk or at night with a glass of milk to boost the immunity of the person why is it used and the reason for that is it, it is very rich in vitamin c and other antioxidants as well as it contains many spice ingredients which can be used as a treatment for cough asthma fever heart disease as well as coarseness of speech these are certain references you can go through for the same topic and here we are done with the classification of the nutraceuticals in next lecture we will study the use of these nutraceuticals in specific diseases thank you everyone